evolution of our society is uh, is leading us completely to the dark. Uh, we are just, you know, becoming zombies uh, who have completely lost connection with nature and who we are actually from the past. Do you th- so when, think when, when like we go a fairy tale almost, VJ? Like like when we think of the Romans, the Greeks, uh, biblical times, it almost seems like it, it seems like a made up story. We know it's history, but it almost seems so far removed. We're not connected to it. Is that kind of what you're saying with not having that relationship to the history in the past? Considering the fact that we learn only a little bit of history and history is always written by the winners, uh, we don't know what really happened. You know? well put. And, uh, you know, what we learn is only uh, you know, probably 0.5 percentage of what really happened. So you know, the wise people, like the most intelligent people who are observing the world as it is, will, will not just observe things as it is from the history, but try to understand what could have really happened, what has led to led these people to write this down. Mm-hmm. And you know, people will understand that this is probably not what happened. This is what happened, but they are projecting it as like this. Just like how we see in news these days, we know what happened when we see a, an incident happening on the TV, and we know why they are putting that in the news to distract people. So, like the whole the history is a compilation of all the news things that happened. You know, when Michael Jackson told, "Be careful about what you write in the newspapers today, because what you write today in the newspapers becomes history tomorrow." Right. That's what students are going to learn. Right. So that's what that's that's what has happened all through this time. Whatever history we have is not what really happened, is what I would say. So it's we have to be wise to understand what really would have happened in that in that time. So that that you know that is something that we gain through experience and uh, you know uh, a different perspective towards uh, human beings and their behavior. And uh, when I say you know digging up the past, I'm not talking about uh, Digging up the recent past, I'm not talking about 1,000 years or 400 years, the history of uh, um, the Europeans coming to the U.S., those have a wider um, you know, uh, base of knowledge to access. So if you want to really know about Thomas Jefferson, you can go back and refer to some books and you have tons of uh, information about him. If you want to know about John Adams, you want to know about Ab- Abraham Lincoln, you, you have tons of information because it's been recorded. Uh, perfectly and language is still the same you still can read it understand and what uh, you know uh, you can understand what could have happened at that time a point of time but when we go back thousand years when you go back two thousand years or even before that the information that we get uh needs to be decoded yeah because it's a little fuzzy it gets fuzzy Mm -hmm. the longer you go back you know there's just no evidence Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I exactly. totally agree. 2,000 years, anything past that, it's like, well, we got some tablets and some cuneiform, and mm-hmm. it's just a giant puzzle. Well, but it Correct. does kind of go to say, go to his point of saying, like, the, the victors write the history, right? And it always makes me think of how I'm like, it frustrates me that we invented language to communicate ideas at first, right? So that we could bridge between one another, and then we learned how to pervert it to lie to each other, to <laughs> distort, to... Well, that's funny. It irritates that me to no end. We'll talk about something like God, that a little later. Crazy. One of the topics that we, we want to talk about is that exact same thing. Drives so that's going to come back full circle. 